It's pretty hot today. Uh, it's in the 80s, so I may actually get in the pool here and just float around for a bit. This is the vacuum that I use. It's a little battery powered vacuum. It's got a sensor in it that it only turns on when it's in the water. So even though you turn it on, it won't turn on until it's in the water. And it recharges right here. I'm pretty happy with it. it does the job. So I'm gonna vacuum some of this debris in here. I've got a leaf, spiders, sand, other things that have floated to the bottom. So we'll get that going. This test kit here is what I use uh, for the most part. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it covers your basics. Uh, sometimes it's a little off, but for the most part it gives you a good um, baseline. So that's what I use here.
So I just want to show you my uh, tiny pool here that I have. It's a 1200 gallon pool and it's fairly adequate for Tennessee summers here. Uh, just to float around and cool off during the, the humid summers we have here. But uh, I just went ahead and did some maintenance on it. I reset the hours on the pumps. I'm running my salt machine for one hour and I'm running my uh, sand machine or sand filter for uh, 10 hours and then I'm thinking of actually increasing my salt machine time from one hour to two hours. Uh, my chlorine is a little bit lower than I'd like. I want to have it around 1 ppm which should be ideal for the small pool. So I'm going to do that. I also did a vacuum of the pool. I've got this little vacuum that works fairly well. It picks up pretty much all the sand that gets in the bottom and leaves and other things that sink to the bottom. I also have a skimmer on the pool and that works really well. It uh, pretty much takes care of anything that floats on the surface. Any kind of scum, leaves, bugs, anything like that. So it keeps the pool fairly clean uh, and I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, it's a perfect pool for just, you know, hanging out and enjoying some uh, summer floating here in the woods. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'll see how well it does with the salt machine. I know that can cause some corrosion with these uh, steel frame pools. So we'll see how long this frame lasts. Uh, eventually I'd love to build a natural swimming pool with you know a biofilter that uses uh, like a plant bed with rocks and things that uh, grow bacteria that absorb the nutrients and any bio things in the water so that would be in the future I love the idea of a natural pool but for now, this one with the salt machine and the sand filter does really well. Keeps it nice and clean and it's pretty fun to just to hang out. So it's pretty hot today. Uh, it's in the 80s. So I may actually get in the pool here and just float around for a bit and uh, enjoy the pool. Awesome. It's uh, actually nice and warm right now. It's 84, 85 degrees. So, with, uh, with that being said, this pool, because it's so small, I guess heats up really fast. So, that means it's comfortable right now, but hopefully it won't get too hot during the summer because when it's hot outside and the pool is hot, the water is. It won't be as refreshing as a cooler pool but during this time of the year you know springtime an 84 85 degree pool is actually really comfortable so I'm really having fun <laughs> Also my battery. This is 
running low. So I guess that's a wrap, guys. <laughs>